Welcome back to another HTML5 basics video uh, where I teach you all the basics of HTML5 and we're building up to uh, creating our own one page website and uh, in this video we're going to talk about links. Now HTML stands for hypertext markup language. So the hypertext part is that we are connecting uh, different pages or different files uh, which are uploaded online and they're available publicly through a public server. We're making those available to everyone and typically the way that we navigate between those files all across the internet is through hyperlinks. <clears throat> so a hyperlink is just uh, also called a link um, in wherever you go and there are two kinds of links. Uh, there are links that are external so you go from one website to another website and then there are what we call internal links. Now internal links go to a new page well, in the same website so on the same server you're you're going to a different page. So they're done the same way um, they're not two different uh, ways necessarily of doing them but there are some best practices uh, that I'll show you in this video as well. So the basic link it uses what's called an A tag. So it's um, it opens with the A and then it closes with slash A. So this is the basic anchor tag. Now inside of this uh, first bracket here um, in HTML for many of the tags that we use uh, we can actually add some extra information to it. Um, one of those is adding a class or an ID which gives this anchor tag or gives this uh, element its own special name and we use that name often in CSS to make changes to that specific element or to a group of elements that have the same name so it's a way of uh, adding specificity to our HTML um, for this we have uh, we have a special element that we can add, add to the a tag it's called h ref <clears throat> so I think it's a hyperlink re reference and what we're doing is we do href equals and then we put two uh, quotation marks and then we can either use a pound sign like this or a number sign however you want to see it um, this will create a generic link but the link does not do anything or go anywhere it just makes the element clickable so then we can just say item 1 and now uh, we have an element that's turned into a link okay so without this So without this, if we just have item one, it's just plain text, you can see. So there's nothing there. But as soon as we add the href, then it becomes a link. So this is the basic structure for a link. A space href equals, and then in quotations, whatever you're linking to. Uh, so when I click this, it doesn't do anything. Right? It actually does something if I had a very long list of these then when I click this it would actually go back to the top so it does actually do something on the page uh, we just can't see it now because it's not far enough down to the bottom um, now we can actually link out this is called an internal link uh, you might see these as um, slash or they would just go to something like about.html and this is the structure for creating a page so you would say the page name dot html and then this link would go to about which obviously there is no about page here uh, I'm on code pin so there's no way to actually link to that internally uh, but this is an internal link structure it doesn't have the HTTP you know the uh, the code at the beginning that you would normally see in a URL uh, but we can create what's called an external link which goes to an outside uh, resource and so we would say HTTP actually the best way to do it is just to go to the website so if we just go to Google 
and if you highlight this and then you copy then you can paste it right in here so now we've created we've gathered the link from the actual web browser uh, URL address bar and then we placed it inside of here and so now when we click on that let's see when we click on that it should take us to uh, google.com let's refresh the page here and it's not sending us there It's very interesting. So, it's very, very strange. Okay, so let's go to, um, let's go to this mode here. Maybe you can see it. Okay, so now when we're out in the, we're off of the CodePen website and we're into the, you know, the regular internet. So, I had this set as Google before I saved and so whenever you can see that whenever I was uh, here that our link is available and when we click it it takes us to google.com which is where um, I had set the link to go to uh, it could be anything so you could put uh, it's best to put the HTTP uh, to signify it as a, a link to a whole new website and it'll treat the link better I think if you did that <clears throat> so we could put it to my own website and then when I go back and I refresh it uh, one way that you can check the link is you can see it shows up down at the bottom here when I roll over it you can see the uh, the link there so when I, I click it then I'm sent to I'm sent to whatever website so it doesn't have to just be a big website like Google or Facebook or something you can use it for any website on the planet any web page on the planet so you could actually link to a separate page inside of this so let's do a slash contact I think that will send it to the right place So I can link directly to the contact page, or I can link directly to the portfolio page, or whatever page I want to link to. Um, it doesn't just have to be the root domain, whatever.com. Okay, so um, one of the things, if you're going to use an external link, one of the key best practices is we can add another um, attribute. These are called attributes. We can add another attribute in here called target. Now, what target does if we do target equals and then our uh, our parentheses not parentheses quotation marks I'm sorry um, then we can set the target to uh, either self I think it's uh, here self or we can I like to set it to blank now what this does is when you set it to underscore blank it opens it opens the link <clears throat> in a new tab okay so when I click it see how it opened it in a new tab it kept our original link here and then it just opened a new tab with tab browsing uh, this has become a lot more common um, and more of an accepted best practice whenever you're sending someone away from your website to another website now you wouldn't necessarily do this if you were linking internally because you're expecting people to go through your website but if for some reason you're putting a link out there that you want people to be able to stay uh, to kind of come back to your page and not have to hit the back button over and over then you would put this uh, target equals underscore blank uh, so that is the basics of uh, creating links in HTML5 there there are lots of other things that you can learn which are more advanced techniques or advanced attributes for links but at this point this is going to be able to serve our purposes 
to be able to create an outside link or to create an internal link uh, to something else within our page. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to listen uh, to your comments and to answer any questions that you have. Um, and as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.